Hi, welcome to this Corp Maths video. In this video, we're going to look at the video solutions to the Corp Maths practice questions on triangles and the conditions for the lengths of sides of the triangles or the triangle inequality theorem. So in this video, we're going to look at the video solutions to those practice questions. If you need any extra help with those conditions with the sides of the triangles, the lengths of the sides of the triangle, feel free to go to Corp Maths, look at the videos and worksheet section and scroll down to video number 327A and there's a dedicated video to show there on that triangle inequality theorem or those conditions to do with the lengths of the sides of the triangle. Alternatively, you could scan this QR code. But in this video, we're going to focus on the video solutions to the practice question, so let's get started. Okay, so let's have a look at our first question, question number one. So question number one says Molly has drawn the following triangle. So she's drawn a triangle and she's labelled the sides 7 centimetres, 13 centimetres and 22 centimetres. And the question says explain why she must have made a mistake. Well, if we had a 22 centimetre line going along here and we drew a 7 centimetre line on one side and a 13 centimetre line on the other, those two lines wouldn't actually meet each other. They wouldn't reach like this because if this is 22 centimetres, if we had 7 centimetres going this way and 13 centimetres going that way, because 20 centimetres, 7 plus 13 is 20, is less than the length of the base, they wouldn't actually reach each other. The 7 would go over this way, the 13 would go over that way but they're not long enough. Whenever we add these two sides together, it needs to be greater than 22 centimetres. So let's explain that. So that's it. So what I've done is I've labelled the sides of the triangle, M, B being the two shorter sides and C being the longer side. And as you can see here, A plus B is equal to 20. 7 plus 13 is equal to 20. Now for a triangle to exist, a plus B must be greater than C. So this side plus this side must be longer than the longer side of the triangle. But for this triangle, A plus B is less than C. So that means this triangle cannot exist. This side plus this side needs to be greater than the length of the third side of the triangle, the longer side of the triangle. And for this case, that's not the case. So this triangle cannot exist. Okay, so let's look at our next question, question number two. So question number two says, Caden has drawn the following triangle. So he's got this triangle with nine centimeters, 21 centimeters and 30 centimeters. And the question says, is explain why he must have made a mistake. Now here if we look at this, the length of the longer side is 30 centimetres, so that's going to be our C and our A and B are going to be the two shorter sides. And if we had this line here and we drew a 9 centimetre line going this way and a 21 centimetre line going that way, they would actually just meet, they would just touch, so that means that they would be along the same line as C. A plus B actually has to be greater than the third side. For a triangle to exist, you can't have the two lines, the two shorter sides being on top of the third side. They need to be slightly off it. So that means that this length plus this length need to be greater than 30 centimetres. So let's explain that. And that's it. So here what I've done is I've looked at the A and the B and I've added them together. 9 plus 21 is equal to 30. So for this triangle, A plus B equals C. But for a triangle to exist, A plus B must be greater than C. So this side plus this side, the two shorter sides must add together to be bigger than the length of the longer side. But for this triangle, A plus B equals C. So that means that this triangle can't exist. So Caden must have made a mistake. OK, let's look at our next question. So question number three says the lengths of the two shorter sides of a triangle are 10 centimetres and 14 centimetres. Now it says the shorter sides, so I'm just going to label them A and B. And then the question says which of the following could be the length of the largest side? And we've been asked to circle our answer. So we've got four options, 25 centimetres, 13 centimetres, 30 centimetres and 21 centimetres. OK, now let's think about this. We've got the length of the two shorter sides, 10 centimetres and 14 centimetres. Now it does say the shorter sides. Now if we have a look here, 13 centimetres couldn't be the length of the longer side because if 14 is one of the shortest ones, 13 can't be the longest one. So I'm just going to cross that one out to begin with. Now remember for our triangle, A plus B must be greater than C. So when we add together the lengths of the two shorter sides, it must be greater than the length of the longer side. So if we take our 10 and 14 and add them together, that's equal to 24. So that must be longer than the longer side of the triangle. The longer side of the triangle cannot be longer than 24 centimetres. So it can't be 25 centimetres and it can't be 30 centimetres because if you had a 30 centimetre line or a 25 centimetre line, if you drew that line, a 10 centimetre line and a 14 centimetre line, line wouldn't reach each other but it could be 21 centimeters because you could draw a 21 centimeter line being the longest side of the triangle and you could draw a 10 centimeter line and a 14 centimeter line and they could meet at the top and then that could make a triangle so which of the following lengths could be the length of the longer side it would be 21 centimeters and that's it okay let's look at our next question question number four so question number four says the lengths of two sides of the triangle are 50 centimeters and 30 centimeters it doesn't say the shortest two sides it just says two sides so 50 centimeters and 30 centimeters could could be the two shorter sides or could be that perhaps 50 is the longer side so we need to actually look at the options here and the question says which of the following could be the length for the third side of the triangle circle your answer 
So I'm going to go for each one of these one at a time. So let's start off with 20 centimeters. So, so if we had 50 centimeters, 30 centimeters, and 20 centimeters, well, A and B would be the two shorter sides. So that'll be A and that would be B. And then that would be the longer side C. And then if we do A plus B, let's see what happens. So A plus B would be 20 plus 30. So we'd have 20 plus 30, and that's equal to 50. So we would have the A plus B is equal to C. So A plus B is not bigger than C. A plus B is equal to C. So that couldn't happen. That You can't have it that the two shorter sides add together to be the length of the longer side. Because if you drew a 50 centimeter line and you drew a 20 centimeter line on one side and a 30 centimeter line on the other side, they'll all be on top of each other. So that couldn't exist. Okay, 50 centimeters. So I'm just going to rub out the A, B and C again. So A, B and C. Let's get rid of those a second. And now let's consider this one. So if we had 75 centimeters, 50 centimeters and 30 centimeters, the two shorter sides would be these two, A and B, and this would be the longest one. So then if we consider A plus B, so that's going to be 30 plus 50. So 30 plus 50 is equal to 80. And that is bigger than the third side of the triangle, A plus B is bigger than C. So I believe that triangle exists. I believe that this is going to be the answer here. I think that's going to be the answer. Okay, so I'm just going to circle it for the minute and let's just check. And I'm going to change color of ink here to blue just so that we can see this quite clearly. So I'm just going to rub out to the A, B and C. Okay, now let's consider the 15 centimeters. If you had 15 centimeters, 50 centimeters and 30 centimeters, the two shorter sides would be the 15 and the 30. And if we do A plus B, so A plus B, you would have 15 plus 30 is equal to 45. And that's less than the longer side. So remember, the two shorter side added together must be bigger than the third side of the triangle, the longer side. So that couldn't exist. And then finally, if we had 80 centimeters, let's just check the last one here. So let's look at the 80 centimeters. So the two shorter sides would be these two, so A and B. And if you do A plus B, we would have 30 plus 50, and 30 plus 50 is equal to 80. So that's the length of the longer side, C. So again, that couldn't exist. The sum of these two must be bigger than the longer side. So the only option that would work would be the 75 centimeters, and that's it. Okay, let's look at our next question, question number five. So question number five says, the length of two sides of a triangle are 7.5 centimeters and 8.1 centimeters. And we've been asked which of the following could not be the length of the third side, and to circle our answer. And we've got four options, 0.5 centimeters, 15.2 centimeters, one centimeter and 14 centimeters. Okay, so let's start off by looking at the longer ones here. So if this was A and B, the two shorter ones, these were two with the shorter sides, let's add them together and see what we get. So 7.5 plus 8.1, so 8.1, if we add them together, that'll be 15.6. So this one, it could exist because it, remember, as long as these two add together to be longer than the longer side of the triangle, then the triangle could exist. So that one could exist and that one could exist because these two are both longer than those two and they are less than the sum of the two shorter sides. Okay, so those two would work. Now let's have a look at the other two. We've got one centimeter and 0.5 centimeter. So if we had a shorter side here, then this must be the longer side C. This would be B. And let's consider this one as A. So A plus B would be one plus 7.5 and one plus 7.5 is 8.5. Now that's bigger than the third side, so that could exist. Let's look at this one, if this was A, so let's see, let this one be A. So you'd have A, which is 0.5, plus B, which is 7.5, and 0.5 plus 7.5 is 8. Now if you add together the A and the B, you get 8. But the longer side is 8.1. You can't have that because if we drew an 8.1 centimeter line and you drew a 7.5 centimeter line on one side and a 0.5 centimeter line on the other side, they wouldn't reach. So which one couldn't be the length of the third side? That one couldn't be the length of the third side. Okay, let's look at our next question, question number six. Okay, so question number six says, triangle ABC is shown below. So we've got triangle ABC and we've got AB is 46 centimeters. BC is 37 centimeters, and Joshua says that AC, this side, has got a length of 85 centimeters. Explain why Joshua must be wrong. So he's saying the length of this is 85 centimeters. I'm just going to put a question mark beside it because obviously we're checking to see can it have a length of 85 centimeters. So if we've got this triangle, we've got the two shorter sides here. So we've got, let's label this A and B. And if we do A plus B, let's see what we get. So that would be 37 plus 46. So 37 plus 46. And if we add these two together, that's equal to 83 centimeters. So that means that, remember, for a triangle to exist, the length of the longer side must be less than the sum of the two shorter sides. So that means this side here, AC, has got to be less than 83 centimeters long because if we had an 85 centimeter line and you drew a 46 centimeter line and a 37 centimeter line they wouldn't reach each other they wouldn't meet like this so this couldn't exist so let's explain that 
And that's it, I've just explained that for a triangle to exist, A plus B must be greater than C. So these two sides must add together to be bigger than this other side here. But here we've got A plus B is less than this side and that can't exist. So AC, this side here, must be less than 83 centimeters. It has to be smaller than 83 centimeters to exist, but obviously bigger than 46, because if it's to be a longer side, it has to be bigger than 46. Okay, let's look at our next question. Okay, so our next question says, Yara says that the lengths of the three sides of a triangle are 11.9 centimetres, 17.4 centimetres, and 28.7 centimetres. We've been asked, could a triangle exist with those lengths of sides? Explain our answer. Okay, so here we've got the three lengths of the sides. Let's add together the lengths of the two shorter sides. So let's label them A, B, and C. And let's do A plus B and see if A plus B is greater than C. Because if a triangle exists, it has to satisfy that inequality. So A plus B, A plus B would be 11.9 plus 17.4. And if we add those two together, 11.9, just get in the calculator, 11.9 plus 17.4, that's equal to... 29.3 centimeters and here c is 28.7 so yeah in this case a plus b is greater than c so that works because obviously 29.3 is greater than 28.7 the length of the longest side so could this triangle exist yes and let's explain that and i've just explained that yes since a plus b is greater than c the triangle could exist okay let's look at our next question question number eight so question number eight says two sides of a triangle have lengths of 30 centimeters and 18 centimeters and we've been asked to write down an error interval for the third side of the triangle y so the third side of the triangle has got a length of y and we need to write down an error interval for this third side okay so let's let y be the longest side to begin with so if these two were the shorter sides so a and b and then this is our longer side let's label it c for the moment so a that's equal to 18 plus b that's equal to 30 if we add those two together that's equal to 48 so that means the length of the longer side has to be less than 48 centimeters because remember the longer side of the triangle has to be less than the sum of the other two a plus b needs to be greater than c so we know that the third side of y we know it has to be less than 48 centimeters it has to be less than 48 centimeters because we know that the length of it can go up to 48 centimeters but it can't be 48 or be any greater than 48. now that was if y was the longer side of the triangle so let's consider the smallest possible values for y because obviously you know it can go up to 48 centimeters but what can it go down to okay so here let's consider if this was the smaller side let's label it a then b would be then the 18 centimeters that's one of the other shorter sides and the longer side would be 30 centimeters so we know for the triangle to exist if we add together the two shorter sides it has to be greater than the longer side so we know that a plus b needs to be greater than c so here let's substitute these values in so a that was y the shorter side plus the other shorter side of 18 when you add these two together it has to be greater than the longer side of the triangle which is 30 and then we want to find out what y is so let's take away 18 from both sides of the inequality so here we've got y plus 18 is greater than 30 if you take 18 off both sides you're going to get that y is going to be bigger than and 30 take away 18 is 12 so y needs to be bigger than 12 so this side of the triangle this third side of the triangle y it needs to be bigger than 12 centimeters but less than 48 centimeters so that's our inequality that y needs to be bigger than 12 centimeters but less than 48 centimeters so that's our error interval this side here can be any length between 12 and 48 and it obviously can't be 12 or 48 but it could be anything in between 12 and 48 centimeters and that's it that's the error interval okay and let's look at our next question question number nine so question number nine says two sides of a triangle have lengths 3.7 meters and 4.6 meters and again we've been asked to write down an error interval for the third side of the triangle x so the length of the third side is x and we need to write down the error interval for x so let's let x be the longer side of the triangle so let's write down the triangle inequality theorem that's a plus b is greater than c if you add together the lengths of the two shorter sides it has to be bigger than the length of the third side so the two shorter sides let's let them be a and b and let's let x be the biggest one c so let's find out what x can go up to so in terms of the the largest values that x can be so let's consider a plus b so a is equal to 3.7 plus b which is equal to 4.6 and that is equal to 8.3 if we add those together that's 8.3 meters so that means that x because obviously if we add these two shorter sides together they must be bigger than the third side so that means the length of this side x can go up to 8.3 meters so it could be 8.2 and so on but it can go up to but not including 8.3 meters so that means that x has to be less than 8.3 meters that's what the length of that side can go up to 
and let's consider the smallest possible values for x. So if x was the shorter side of the triangle, let's label a, and then this would be our b, and then that would be our c. And we know that a plus b has to be greater than c. So a is x plus b, that's 3.7, have got to be bigger than 4.6. So if you add together the length of the two shorter sides, it has to be bigger than the longer side. So let's take away 3.7 and let's take away 3.7 and see what we get. So on the left hand side you just be left with x. On the right hand side 4.6 take away 3.7 is 0.9 meters. So that means that if x was the shorter side of the triangle it would have to be bigger than 0.9 meters because if it was smaller than 0.9 meters it couldn't exist. So that means that x has to be greater than 0.9 meters. So that means that x can be any value in between 0.9 meters and 8.3 meters. So that's our error interval and that's it. And that's it. So these have been the video solutions to the Corbin Maths practice questions on triangles and the lengths of sides or the conditions for the lengths of sides of triangles. I really hope you found this video useful. If you have found it useful, please like it and please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you. Cheers. Bye.